person with endurance is willing to do what he can, where he is, with what he's got. This person realizes that excellence doesn't happen overnight. This person will excel. Both of my parents have a strong work ethic and community service ethic. My dad was a football coach and athletic director actually at the high school and so sports were a big part of our family's life growing up. Basketball was my big sport, also in track, and a football cheerleader. We had good basketball teams. Um, we had great um, rapport with our coaches, and um, as a team, really worked well together, I think. We had a lot of fun. My car accident occurred the summer after I graduated from high school. Uh, the accident involved another car of kids from a neighboring town who were out drinking and driving. As I came out of that concussion period, my struggle came out through very restless nights and nightmares. My days were positive, my nights were of another sort. I knew that I needed to talk to somebody who could tell me how to look at this situation living from a wheelchair. And so I called Concordia's campus pastor. It was Ernie Mancini. You were dealing with monumental challenges and a lot of loss of dreams in a twinkling of an eye. And that's when I saw your faith, your courage, and uh, how real a woman you truly are, because you were so willing to uh, say, I'm hurting, I'm afraid, I'm angry. And we had, we had quite a time over the weeks that followed. I have learned, I guess, along life's way, there will be times we'll feel like we're all alone when we maybe don't know how to handle a situation or we just plain hurt. And I guess I learned even early on at the hospital to share those feelings with God. The game would be different, but the game would go on. I know it may sound strange to some, but I feel that I have been incredibly blessed in life to have a, a great support system of family and friends, and to have the opportunities for a, a super education. I love my work at Merit Care, where I'm on the other side of that patient-therapist relationship, and I try to encourage my patients and families that they can get through this challenge and they can live fully even with a disability. I've had opportunities to minister myself to people with disabilities in a third world country. When I traveled to Romania, that was an incredible gift to be able to educate and support those people with disabilities. I've also had opportunities to compete at levels I never dreamed would even be possible. It's ironic in a way, but it's been in my striving for independence that's actually brought me to dependence on God. And so I can say thank you, God, for these challenges that have come my way.